all type of cops out here and fire trucks and everything. I say, you got to be kidding. No such luck. An SUV flies off the road and plows into a commercial building in West Suburban Oak Park. One person is slightly hurt. Businesses are destroyed, and crews get a big surprise when they open the vehicle's doors. Thanks for being with us. I'm Erin Kennedy. Marissa is on assignment. At this hour, the driver is facing charges, including driving under the influence. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us live from Oak Park. And Mike, I understand the driver hit the building, then took out a light pole. You're right. It actually was a light pole just like the one that you're looking at right now. Now, the one that was standing earlier was about 25 feet to the west of the one that you're looking at, but it's buried under all that debris, and it took the building itself to actually bring this out-of-control driver to a stop. Water flows out of this Yukon with the force of a waterfall as first responders open the door. That's because the GMC crashed into this Oak Park building, bursting a water main in the process before coming to a rest on top of it. That geyser of water would continue to flow for hours until crews were able to shut it off. Tim Brown owns the building and received an unwelcome wake-up call at around 2.30 this morning. This is unbelievable amount of damage for one car. Brown says first responders told him what happened. Man overdrank, arguing with his spouse or girlfriend, and uh, somehow driving too fast and ended up in the middle of my building for some reason. I have no clue. That man was forced to perform a DUI test by Oak Park Police before he was arrested and charged. His female passenger was taken to Loyola. Two children in the back seat escaped injury. Brown was happy about that and the fact that the barbershop and tattoo parlor were empty when the crash happened. It's going to cost a lot of money to put it back together, but beats losing a life. Terrence Pouncey is also glad the wreck happened overnight. I'm glad it clapped the shop was closed and wasn't nobody harmed. That's because he's been working behind a chair in the barbershop for more than a year. I guess I'll be an Uber barber now. And he may just have a first customer. I can't even give my haircut, y'all. See, I'm rough out here today. Rashawn Smith had an appointment scheduled for today. I'm going to ask him to come to the house real quick. I stay down the block. He just have to get an in-home thing going on or something. Back live now, you can see the disaster restoration team beginning the cleanup operation. As for the driver, Laurel Jackson of Chicago was charged with DUI and driving without insurance. There's no word on the condition of his injured passenger at this hour. Reporting live in Oak Park, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Aaron? All right, Mike, thank you.